guys so I'm back and I went shopping so I didn't like completely break the bank but I have a decent amount of stuff so I wanted to share some of the stuff with you guys it's over here Ugh. so I got stuff from like Sephora and Kate Spade and a few other places and I didn't get like I didn't go and spend like seven thousand dollars or anything like that but I, I spent a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and start with Sephora first so as Sephora I really needed foundation so um, I was talking to the girl there and I was trying to find a foundation for me because I have decently oily skin but at the same time like I don't know like I just I always have a problem with foundation. So she gave me the IT Cosmetics um, CC cream and so far this is what it looks like. So far I really like it. I am in the color light. I just... I feel like I'm in between light and whatever is underneath light. Ivory, I don't know, because I'm not ivory for sure. Like, I'm definitely not that white. But I feel like I'm like an in-between because sometimes it almost doesn't feel like it like connects. I don't know. And then I also got this beauty, the beauty blender cleaner, but it's like the soap bar. And just like a public service announcement, when you open this thing, this pink thing is not the soap because I really thought that it was underneath that that's like a scrubby pad to like help clean your brushes and I really thought that was the soap and I'm like sitting there scrubbing and I was like why is it not working because I have used it once I really needed to clean my brushes but I did just get it so oh see now the lid won't go back on Ugh. so then I went to Kate Spade and I love this bag so much but I don't understand why this bag is so big they need to make smaller bags because I only got one thing and it's very tiny so I really wanted a wallet and well I have a wallet and if you've seen my other um my like Ted Baker review wallet I'll link that somewhere on the screen or down in the description but I wanted a smaller wallet so I found this one at Kate Spade and how cute it's even got an S for Shannon how adorable and it's got this little exclamation mark and it's like glittered and rhinestoned and everything and then just says the Kate Spade New York right here the only thing I really am not huge on is this keychain. I don't understand why it has a keychain for the zipper pull, but whatever. And it's got a little pocket right here in the back. And then you just open it, and it opens accordion style. A accordion style. Whatever. But it's enough to hold, like, all my cards that I don't keep in my little uh, key clay. Because I only keep, um, like, my ID and my debit in there. Everything else I need, like, a spot for. So moving on to Old Navy. I went to Old Navy the other day and I got a few shirts. I got three shirts and I'm very happy about them because first one, so I don't have like a basic white t-shirt and I really don't know why I don't have one. I just don't. So I got one and I'm really happy. It says mascara and coffee and I love it so much. I'll try these on and put them right here so that you guys can see what they look like on but it's super comfortable it's just a basic cotton t-shirt and then I got this just plain black one and it's definitely longer it's almost kind of like a tunic I guess but it is just obnoxiously soft like I it is just, it's not a normal t-shirt for sure it is it's got spandex in it it's spandex and modal, and if you don't know what modal is, it's very hard to explain, but it's kind of like a rayon material, but it's really, really soft, and it is definitely pretty amazing. And the other one left in my room. I'll be right back. Okay, and then the third shirt that I got is, now I feel like it's really weird because these three shirts are so basic and plain, like normally I get very colorful stuff, but the third one is just this like low scoop neck and then it kind of like rounds out at the bottom and I'll put this on too um but it's so comfortable it's also um cotton and it's just black and white stripes and it looks kind of gray from here it doesn't look like it's striped at all but it did I promise um super comfy and then I was so excited I got a trench coat now I'll put that right here that trench coat because it's way too huge to hold up from here I have been wanting a trench coat for, I don't know, at least like four or five years. And I've always seen the ones at Coach and then like the Michael Kors trench coats and they're so pretty, but they're like two to $400. And I don't have that kind of money to spend on a jacket. 
I found one at Old Navy and I was walking through to their like clearance section and they had a bunch of jackets and sweaters and everything which is fantastic especially if you live in St. Louis right now because it's still like cold one day and like hot the next so it's nice to have stuff going clearance when you still need it and it was $59.99 I think and it was on the clearance thing but there was no clearance sticker and it was the only one and I tried it on and it fit perfect so I brought it up to um like the cash wrap and everything and I asked them and she said she wasn't sure because she had never even seen it so she scanned it and she's like well it's ringing at full price and then she was like oh it's online only that's why they don't sell it in the store and I was like oh okay and so I was like well then never mind like I'm not gonna pay full price for it right now I just don't want to spend that much like even though 60 is way better than 400 don't want to spend that much so then the other, I guess, I don't know if she's a manager or what, but she was like, well, she's like, I can give it to you for half off, but you can't return it. And I was like, deal. So I got this trench coat for $30. I'm pretty, pretty happy. Old Navy has some fantastic deals. Okay, so then I went to Target and I only got a few things from Target. I just got two basic pairs of leggings, like nothing fancy. And then um, this, which I'm really excited about. Ooh. I got this Disney Villains graphic t-shirt. How fun is that? I mean, look at them. How cool. So if you know me at all, you know that I'm obsessed with Disney everything. But I love the Disney Villains. And do you know where I got this? In the men's section. With the guys, the guys graphic tees. I walked over there. They have Lion King. They have Ariel. They have um, they have villains. They have like some '90s cartoon shows. And I mean, they're 13 bucks for a shirt, but they're pretty soft and they're pretty legit. And I'm excited because I think I'm gonna take this to Disney World when we go in a few months. Pretty happy about that. If I can find everything, like if I can find this T-shirt, um, I'll link as much as I can in the description box. Um, and if it's not in the description, make sure you check my blog because that will be linked over there. Okay, so then yesterday we went to Charming Charlie and uh, they had this thing. So, okay, I was bent on finding flats. I went to the mall and I was trying to find flats the past few days and I couldn't find flats anywhere like that I liked that weren't like 50 bucks a piece. Like I just wanted some cheap flats that were cute. Didn't happen. So I went to Charming Charlie thinking maybe that they would have some flats. And when we walked in, they had this like big, I don't know what that's called, like Wheel of Fortune kind of thingy, like the spinny thing. Is that Wheel of Fortune? I don't know. But they had a spinny thing and you spin and then whatever lands on that's like the deal you get, like the coupon or whatever. Simba. And so I got uh, two for ten on earrings. So... First, I didn't want that, but then I found some really cute ones. So I got these ones, and I'll put a close-up in here. But to me, they almost remind me of, like, rock candy. And I guess they're, like, a mint color. And then these were, okay, it's a seafoam light, which pretty much is mint. But they're so cute. And then I got Simba. Stop it. Sorry, the pup likes eating bags. And then I got these super gaudy, like, Indian-inspired like Native American inspired earrings and I really like these I and mean, I don't know what I'm gonna wear maybe I'll wear these like when we go to the animal kingdom and like I can meet Pocahontas in these oh ooh, that's such a good idea and then I actually got one of these I'm really excited about this because I got a new bag and it is this little bag holder and if you don't know what these are they come apart like this and they turn and then you put this part like on the table or chair or whatever and then your purse can hang from here so that it doesn't um, like get scratched on the ground and stuff like that or whatever. You know, so that your purse doesn't get dirty. And that's all for Charming Charlie. Oh, my pup wants to say hi. Say hi, Simba. Say hi. Oh, no. You want to say hi? She want to sit behind me? Say hi. Okay. There. You got some camera time. Happy now? Okay. Now go, go play. Go play. So, went to Forever 21 and excuse my ginormous bag. I only have two things in here. But my friend that was with me broke my other bag and wanted to shove their sweater in it. So, 
they did. Um, so I got a massive bag. So anyway, I got these two pairs of sandals. And um, I got this pair, this black pair. And they just have the little, they have like one little buckle on the side. And then they just go up. And they're very cute sandals. And I really liked them and they were super comfortable. So I got them in brown also. Ugh, Simba! So then I got the brown pair. And these were, let's see, uh, $12.90 a piece for these sandals. So this is the kind of deal I was looking for for flats, but I swear Forever 21 was against me in flats because they had every size except mine. Okay, so last but not least, I went to Bath and Body Works. Now, I give it down. I'm very happy with the deal that I got here because I got a decent amount of stuff for not that much at all. So ah, stop. So I got some soap because we legit needed soap, and I don't like using any other soap. I've tried using it from Target or from Walmart and stuff. It's just not the same, and it doesn't smell as good either. So I got four soaps, and I got Peach Bellini. And this obviously smells like peaches. Then I got Pretty Pink Peony. And this is just like the flowers. It says Blushing Peony, Jasmine Petals, and Sandalwood. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, I haven't even smelled this one because I just love peonies that I trusted it. Oh, it smells good. I love anything that smells like flowers. And then I got Beautiful Day, which is really apple-y. So it says Sunkiss Apple Sparkling Cassis or Cases and Wild Daisies. And then I got Turquoise Waters one because it's a gorgeous color. But it's how did my mom pronounce this? Bergamo? I don't know. Daylily and Sea Spray. And ugh. I didn't smell this one either. It just smells like a fun day at the beach. It's not, you know how some of them, they have that smell like beachy smells, but it's like salt water and it just, it doesn't smell like that. It smells like just good beach. Then I had one of those free, um, like travel size things. So I got the Magic in the Air body wash and this stuff smells really good. I have the full size lotion in this one and... It doesn't say the stuff that's in it or like the notes or whatever but it's definitely floral but it smells really good and I got this pretty much for um, Disney so that we can travel with our you know stuff and not have to bring full size bottles so then I got some candles I got four candles and all the candles were ten dollars off and then I had a 20% off coupon and then she gave me another coupon that was like 10 off of 80 because the total ended up being higher than that but then it went down a lot because she gave me a discount so this is Cactus Blossom and I actually already talked about this in my favorites video and they had different packaging on the Cactus Blossom and the inside was actually blue before but now it's just plain white and um, still smells just as fantastic. So if you are looking for Cactus Blossom they have it but it is in this plain like pink color jar now. Then I got this one which is Beach Blossoms. And this one smells really good. Let's see. It's got Ocean Lotus, Soft Beach Air, and Warm Musk. I don't understand how they say Soft Beach Air. Like, did they just, you know, catch it? I don't understand how you catch air in a scent. I, I don't know. But I'm not a scientist, so I couldn't tell you anyway. And then I, Simba. This dog, if you could see my view right now. Stop. Then I got um, Honeysuckle Bouquet because every year that their Honeysuckle comes out, I love stocking up on it. I mean, I only got one this time, but oh, it just, this screams spring and it just smells so good. It smells just like Honeysuckle. I mean, you'd hope, right? Because if it says Honeysuckle, why would it smell like anything else? Ugh. And then the last one that I got was Mango Dragon Fruit, and I love the color of it. And it's got a little rose gold top. How cute is that? They never have rose gold tops. Oh, it smells so good. Obviously, Mango Dragon Fruit. This is Island Mango, Pink Dragon Fruit, Bright Mandarin, and Red Currant. It's good.
So that's it. That's everything that I got um, recently anyway. And oh, you know what? I lied. I forgot that I stopped at Lush the other day. So I only got two things at Lush. Um, and one of them is, I cut it in half actually. I haven't used it yet, but it, it's one of those like oil bars because I've never used one of those, but I cut it in half because um, I gave my mom the other half to see if we liked it. But it's called, what was it, like uh, totally mangoed or mangoed out or something like that. And um, oh, it smells really good. I don't think there's mangoes in it at all. I was reading through their little Lush catalog, you know, and I think, I'll put right here what it said, but I don't even think that there was mango in it and then I got this bath bomb that I'm so excited about because oh, how pretty is this look at that it's not the frozen one it's actually um big blue is what it was called and it's got sea salt seaweed and some other stuff and oh it smells so good the only thing I don't like about bath bombs I feel like after I touch them I like eat the stuff you know so that is all that I have for you officially today since that was the last one. That's all I got for you and I hope you come back and see me. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Go check out my blog and if you guys need any like coupon codes or anything, I have a bunch down there in the description box to so go check some stuff out if you need any coupons for stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!